to welcome guests. Particularly honored to have this person to come up on stage to welcome you guys and give his experience of the TV, radio, and media landscape. It's Jim Wilson, who's Seven News sports editor. And besides being sports mad, Jim is a foodie and describes himself as a coffee purist. So ladies and gentlemen, let's give a big round of applause to Jim as he comes on stage. Oh, mate. How are you? Yeah, all right, yeah, you know. So you, you haven't missed many, mate. You've got the Kiwis. Where are the Kiwis, by the way? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Very good. And uh, George and Charlotte. Good choice of names, actually, Justin. Um, welcome. Actually, next year, I think the conference, this conference, a get-together should be in Queenstown. Yeah, yeah, great idea. Yeah, very good. Um, good morning, everyone. Great to be here to welcome you to what is a... Well, it's an exciting time as far as the, uh, the landscape's concerned. Um, certainly from my perspective as the, as the network sports editor and also as a network host uh, for Seven, um, I think that certainly... Uh, what you'll hear today, um, the power of well, obviously advertising, I'll leave that to Kurt and the team uh, in our stable, but I, certainly from my perspective as someone who's been doing this for 30 odd years across all mediums, uh, newspapers, radio and television, it's, um, it's changed dramatically. Um, I suppose the one thing in my welcome this morning is that as we embark on what I think will be probably one of the biggest years I can remember from a live sports perspective, um, it's a great time to reflect and also look forward to what I think will be, a, as I said, a really exciting year from, uh, from someone who lives and breathes sport on a daily basis. Um, I think certainly it's, it's, you know, let's not cut, let's cut to the chase. It's been, it's tough in the media landscape, but there's a one constant uh, with my, well, my daily roles with news, but also uh, the, one, the other constant is live sport and, uh, and the big ticket items. Uh, I know there's been a lot said in recent days about, uh, or recent weeks, about uh, coronavirus and the impact it's having on events, not just sporting events, but events around the world. Um, and we've seen a, a rugby match, for example, this weekend in Ireland postponed uh, between Ireland and Italy. Um, there's been a lot of, in the last 48 hours, it's starting to ramp up about the, not hysteria, but I think we need to just calm down a little bit um, about the Tokyo Olympics and Paralympics. Um, our, our good mate Dick Pound, who's uh, fairly outspoken, those who don't know Dick, he's uh, been on the IOC for a, well, more than a decade and also been a big part of the World Anti-Doping Agency as well as their chairman. He's fairly outspoken, Dick. Um, and he's basically said in the last 24 hours that, you know, Tokyo is in, is in some doubt and that if... It, is, it will be cancelled rather than postponed. I think the Tokyo Olympics and Paralympics will proceed. Um, under what conditions uh, remains to be seen. But I think the IOC, the, AI, the Australian Olympic Committee and the Inter International Olympic Committee will give it every possible opportunity. Um, I think it would be a, a very, very big move to cancel the Games. Uh, I think, as I said, they'll give it till, till June. They won't move the Games. Uh, there was some talk that they could be moved to London. Um, they will not do that and they won't postpone them either. But I think generally speaking, I think the games will go on. So from my perspective, um, you know, I, I'm looking forward to 2020 and beyond. Um, for someone who's going into their 34th year in this industry um, and about to embark on my eighth Olympics and my third Paralympics as a host and as a reporter, um, I think that while the media landscape is tough, um, live sport is going to be there for 2020 and beyond. And I know there's representatives from all networks here today, so without being too seven-centric, and I am obviously part of the seven network, um, you know, you look at this year that we're coming into, and just on a domestic basis, I mean, I'm genuinely excited, I always do, I mean, I love my rugby league, for example, um, state of origin. I mean, it's, uh, it is the jewel in the crown as far as rugby league's concerned. I think the AFL um, will again be an enormous season. It's so wide open and I think the league's the same. I think when you look at the Roosters and what they did last year and they've lost Cooper Cronk and Latrell Mitchell, they're big outs but they are a class team. But I think in both football codes it is wide open. And so without getting too sporty this morning, that excites me as far as on a domestic front, uh, live sport being king. And as I said, I think from there's a lot of our clients here, a lot of clients across the networks, uh, whether you be with Rugby League, with Channel 9, uh, the Tennis on 9, which was just an enormous couple of weeks in January. Um, and also, you know, our friends from 10 and Fox with supercars uh, and other live sports. It, it is, I mean, content's king and live sport's king. Um, I think that it genuinely excites me, for someone who's passionate about what I do, uh, that certainly looking ahead to this year and beyond, 
um, live sport is, uh, is where it's at. And that, as I said, um, I'm extremely passionate about. So on with uh, 2020, on with your wonderful couple of days. And I, I just want to say um, to everyone in this room, um, you know, having started in newspapers, gone into television just before the Barcelona Olympics in 1992, having done radio um, across a range of outlets, um, it really is exciting. You know, I think uh, the power of television, the power of live sport, um, as I said, there's, there's so much to look forward to, not just this year uh, with the Olympics and Paralympics and as I mentioned, the footies and whatever else, but I think in moving forward, it will be where it's at. And it's, uh, as I said, thank you for having me this morning. Uh, thank you for being here. Uh, I can take a couple of questions at Chatham House Rules, so it's off the record, um, but I'm happy to take a couple of questions if you want to ask a question. Uh, otherwise, I know you've got a very full schedule and uh, a lot of speakers. So, uh, Justin, do you want to... I do want to ask you a question. It's, oh, not, it's not Chatham House Rules, whatever he says. I know he's a big fella, but I, say, no, I no, set the rules. Right. Um, is, this, is this Michael? Right on, Justin. I do yeah. want to ask yeah. you, are your, are your like, saddest days when you have to report on England beating Australia in sporting events? <laughs> Well, yeah, how does that feel? Well, you're in for a great day, everyone. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you're slowly coming out of his shell, Justin. Um, uh, Justin, can I just remind you, uh, well, this is totally unscripted and, and this is a question I noticed. Um, can I just remind you, Eddie Jones, who coaches the England rugby union team, is an Australian. Yeah. Trevor yeah. Bayliss, who is an outstanding cricket coach, and we, we love the cricket. Um, Trevor Bayliss, who coached England, ha had a great success with England. He's an Aussie as well, Justin. We couldn't win on our own. No, so, yeah, no, right. we need the Australians to have no, that. No, I think that I, I like the rivalry, and I think uh, Ashes right. next year, at home Ashes will be in 20... So, I mean, look, look, I mean, hello. I mean, we've got 2020, we've got India coming next summer, which will be, I think, a wonderful series. I'm hoping it's a five-test series. I think it'll be four. A pink ball day night test in Adelaide. Uh, India, Coley, who's just always in your face, superstar player. Um, I'm looking forward to the summer. And then England a year later, so, I mean... I'm, I'm, I'm on a fantasy. Just island, a quick mate. prediction, yeah. though. England are looking pretty strong for that for that Ashes. Do you think they could come here and actually win ever? England. Uh, next year, yeah, next year though. No, I think uh, I, I think no, Justin. No. Um, <laughs> where's Kurt? Hey, Kurt, live and free, mate. But I'm trying to pump it up as much as I can. Um, no, I think no. What's your prediction I, on the score? I think Australia can. Uh, I think Australia. I'm going to do a Glenn McGrath here. I think it can be a whitewash. Oh. I'm going to. Yeah. I'm sorry. I can't. I can't see you winning a bucks. test. Hundred bucks. Have a Warner bet. Smith back. I mean, yeah. on home soil. Yeah. Um, well, let's have a bottle of that. What, what alcohol are you serving at four o'clock? Uh, everything. Okay, right. Yeah. I will have a bit yeah. on that. That can be a friendly bit. <laughs> okay. Um, any questions before I depart? Um, and again, thank you for being here. And uh, you know what? It's exciting. And uh, and enjoy it. That's yours, Justin. That is. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Jim. Uh, just drinking the joint on the way out. Uh, no questions. No. Anyone else want to ask a question? Oh, Free yeah. bottle of booze in it if you ask something interesting. I and thought Kurt might ask sweat. me about Manly. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's all right. Keep the faith, Kurt. Okay. Um, well, Justin. it's early for him, so um, let's give Jim a massive round Thanks of very much for having us. Thank you, mate. You're a great sport. Yeah, I appreciate that.